Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm just going to be doing a chit chatty makeup look with you guys. So if you're excited to see what are the new things going on with me, what are the new things I'm into, and a beautiful makeup look, then go ahead and keep watching. So I decided to wear a ball cap today for uh, two reasons. One, it's kind of a vibe. And two, I'm hiding my eyebrows because they are trash. I try, keep trying to do like that natural brow and it keeps turning out like just trash. So we're going to ignore the fact that I have a ball cap one because like I thought it was cute, but now I'm sitting here and I'm like, is it cute? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Hats, no hats. What are we thinking? So today I'm going to be going in with the Pastel Mint from Huda Beauty. It's just the small Obsessions palette. I got this in a haul a while ago. So I'm going to go in and prime the eyes first. And I have done my face makeup off camera. Okay, so now that I have my eyes set, I'm going to go into the palette. I just haven't really used it and it looks so pretty and I wanted to. I just figured because I have some pastel colors in the hat that it'd be really really cute. So it might be simple. I don't know. It's gonna be a look though for sure. What I wanted to talk to you guys about is kind of like I guess like my weight loss journey. Is that what we're calling it? I don't really know. So basically I started Weight Watchers on the 12th? The, the 10th? I don't remember. It was like a week ago, maybe a week and a half ago. I don't know. It was recent. So I started Weight Watchers. Um, it's like $15 a month and I figured I would sign up for like six months and then I can just kind of go from there, you know, just like a jump start. And then I also decided that I was going to order a Peloton. So I'm going in with this brown color right here and I'm going to put it all over my outer corner and my lower lid. Basically, I got a Peloton and I got shoes and all that. I'm waiting for the actual Peloton to get here and Steven is also going to be using it because during quarantine he too put on some weight so we're just trying you know just trying to get better and get active and get out there but with Weight Watchers I'm kind of excited like I've lost I think it was like five point something pounds four point something pounds I don't remember but I've lost a pretty good amount of weight um in a quicker time frame than I thought I was going to but I will say it's not been very hard which is kind of concerning because I figured like you know something like that would be hard to do to just change so basically with Weight Watchers you get like a point system I am currently on the blue plan I started on the green plan that one was a little bit more strong so I decided to go with the blue plan which gave me a little bit more space but I get a little less points so I can basically have all the chicken I want not all the chicken I want let me get let me correct that chicken is zero points like um, fish is zero points shrimp is zero points eggs are zero points veggies fruits for the most part except for avocado which <laughs> I feel like avocado has been like the bane of my existence when it comes to this i'm gonna use this one right here because i love avocados and a quarter of it a quarter of it is five points and in my eyes i'm just like why in the hell would an avocado be a bad food for you to intake like it's good fat it's good for you i'm just gonna place this right on the inner corner and meet over towards the middle so i that's where i kind of like some of it's very questionable in my opinion when it comes to like the foods and stuff and why they're good and why they're bad but basically what I've kind of boiled it down to is it's like a low fat low carb intake I have read and watched a lot of videos where like people like really really don't like Weight Watchers and they say like you don't intake enough food and that's why they don't like it basically that people who are put on the diet are not eating enough calories etc etc so I decided you know what let me find out for myself let me figure out if this is accurate so what I did was I downloaded my fat my my foul my fitness pal and if you don't know what that is basically it's a calorie tracker app what I did was I decided you know what I'm going to track it I'm gonna track it on the calorie app and on the Weight Watchers so I would put Weight Watchers points like what I was eating and I would see the points and then I would go to the my fitness pal and I would calculate it so basically on my fitness pal for me to lose two pounds a week two pounds a week 
maybe not, but for me to lose two pounds a week, I had to stay within no more than I think it was like 1500 or a little bit more than that calories. And I winded up eating right around 1500 calories. Like I think if I'm not mistaken, it was actually over 1500 calories. Uh, so I had to kind of adjust with that when it comes to proportion size. But I did that for a week and basically what I'm saying is, in my opinion, with the way that I am, I don't feel like I'm under eating in any way. I think that it depends on the person. So when I see all these videos of people like, they're telling you to under eat, I don't think Weight Watchers or WW is what it's technically called now. I don't think Weight Watchers themselves are promoting under eating. I just think that people don't educate themselves or kind of like read and do their research before they start a diet and they just go in but they don't realize like it can be dangerous like if you're not careful and know like certain things like I've been struggling with my weight for a very long time so for me I know what contains a good amount of calories and is good for me as well to eat where some people don't so they will consume, you know, this says strawberries are zero points. Well, I'm going to eat 40 strawberries. Well, that's a lot of calories. Um, but it's also not giving you your protein and everything else that you need throughout the day. I think that there is no bad food. Like, I don't not eat certain foods. I just feel like WW really gets me into, like, a more moderation kind of thing. Like, I don't need to have junk food every day. I don't need to have salty greasy food every day and I feel like that's where I am with that and if anything I think that I eat more now on Weight Watchers than I did when I was not on anything because I would forget to freaking eat and then I would binge on dinner. So I'm going to go on with this color right here and I'm going to put that in between the two colors where you see like a little bit of space. So I do feel like it can be kind of dangerous if you're not really prepared to do that and I also think you kind of just have to be in a good mental place when it comes to your your weight because if you're sitting here just trying to lose 80 million pounds and you're not eating then you are under eating and unfortunately you are gonna go and gain all of that weight back so I just make sure that I'm eating enough that my body is full and I'm not going too crazy now there are days like I think it was last Sunday I had Chinese food and I didn't count my points because I just wanted to have my Chinese food and I didn't want to care. So that happens and that's fine. But then the next day you just get your shit together and you keep going. I'm just not a big fan of labeling foods like good or bad. Like there are foods that are healthier for you and there are foods that are not healthy for you. So, well not as healthy, but all food has nutrients. So I'm going back in with that brown color right here and I'm gonna blend that outer corner again. I haven't had any issues with this plan and it's pretty inexpensive. I paid 15 something a month, I think, for six months. So it's not terrible. I just wanna get like on track to eating better again. And then once I do, I'm kinda just gonna get off of it. I just wanna, basically like a reboot like start over situation a lot of fun i'm really excited for a peloton so if you guys have a peloton i need you to let me know what your like username code thing is once i get it and then we can like ride together that'd be so cool also one thing i found on my my little journey to ww is coffee and protein shakes they're premier protein shakes and it kind of takes place of your creamer and your sugar and all of that and it's so good. So I'm gonna go back in with that darker like minty green that I did and kind of bring this over because this is not turning out. Because I used a lighter color, it looks almost patchy. Does that make sense? It doesn't look like it's fading, it looks patchy. I don't know, I just wanted to update you guys. I can do more of these like life updating videos, what I'm doing, chatty, just like quick makeup vibes while I'm doing it. Um, but I figured instead of me coming on here and just like, you know, talking and talking and talking, I would come on here and do some makeup.
I, I don't know. I just am trying to get into a healthier space because I feel like lately I just have not been in a healthy space. I've just been kind of like doing whatever and it's not even to me about weight loss really. It's about my health. I can feel it like in my body that I'm just super unhealthy, especially when like everything hurts all of the time. I have no energy at all. I'm just going back in and doing a little more blending and it's just, it's really starting to weigh on me that was not on purpose but it is starting to weigh on me so i just need to do better and feel better and i and that's what i'm working so don't hop on here and tell me you shouldn't be doing that it's my body i'm gonna do what i want to do right, so i'm also going in with that brown and i'm gonna put it in the bottom corner or the bottom lid i will make sure that what i'm doing is healthy and productive to my health. I would not want to do anything that would jeopardize my health. So you don't have to worry about that. Like I understand and you know, I always welcome advice. I just don't like when people tell me things that I should or shouldn't do. Like it's kind of my life situation and I have to make that decision. And if I feel as though, you know, Weight Watchers is a good thing for me, then that's what I'm gonna do. And if I wind up hating it or it winds up really bad, then that's on me. But I promise that I'm not doing anything crazy and I work out now. Sometimes, sometimes I forget. But for the most part I do. I'm really, I am really excited about my Peloton. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm gonna put this one on the inner corner. It's something that I've wanted for quite a bit. I want the tonal, the, basically the mirror, but we can't buy that until we move. We just can't. We have no space for it, but I really, 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 really want that. And I'm going to bring that down just to the inner corner. I don't know. I'm super excited for what's coming. So if you guys want to see videos, I guess on my weight loss journey, I'm thinking about doing them on TikTok just because I feel like they're easier to do 60 second videos and update than full blown YouTube videos. But if you guys want to see YouTube videos of me updating you on my weight loss journey, then of course, ask me. But again, I'm not a professional and I'm just kind of doing this like on my own. I'm not getting any professional help. So I just wanted to kind of give you guys that heads up of like what I'm doing and the different things I'm planning on doing. But I did say, I did a whole update on my channel, basically of the things that are changing. So if you've noticed, I have not been here recently. It's because I'm only doing Mondays, Wednesdays, and Friday videos. I am no longer doing Mondays through Saturday videos. But I did want to just give you a brief, like, update on a, another big change in my life. You know what I mean? Because I think that having people to motivate you and be by your side when you're doing something is difficult as weight loss you know it's important and it's good to have a support system and I just love that for me and I love that you guys are so supportive to me and everything that I do so I hope that this is another journey that we can do together and have fun with. So I'm gonna link the video of my um, channel updates and the giveaway that is still going on by the way it is going on until the 30th of April I'm gonna put that right here for you guys to check out but I'm gonna hop off camera I'm gonna put on my lashes and then I'll be right back. All right guys, so that is it for today's video using the mint palette by Huda Beauty. I hope you guys really liked it. I really liked how this look turned out. It's very, I feel like it kind of goes with my hat. I hope you guys liked this chatty video. I hope you liked hearing my updates and all that stuff. Like I said before, if you guys have a Peloton, if you're getting a Peloton, please let me know like your username or code or whatever it is you're supposed to share and let me know it down below or you can dm me if you don't want everyone else to know it and that way maybe one day we could take like a ride together or something maybe i can do like a live like do a live stream while we're taking a class together i think that'd be really cool i would be breathing really hard but you know i think it'd be really cool so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up for me make sure you are subscribed to my channel i do new videos every single week and you don't want to miss out on those and i'll see you guys on the next one bye